Hey everyone, so today's going to be quite a large charm update and also a little craft I made. So for the craft, I made this birdhouse. Well, I didn't really make it, I painted it and I purchased it from Michaels for only a dollar. And yeah, it's just like this light brown on top and this darker brown on the bottom. I mean, light brown on the bottom and darker brown on top. And then there's just like this little rope you can hang it off. And it's really cute. Okay, and then for charms, I just baked the waffle mold that I showed in my tutorial. Um, I made this uh, Winnie the Pooh Remit inspired cookie. You might have seen it in my video a while back, but um, I don't know. I don't think I really showed it that much, so I'm just showing you now. But the face is really messed up, so I might just redo it. <laughs> and then I made this cupcake with my own deco whipped cream. So yeah, and there's a little bow cabochon on it. Whoops. Sorry if my cat walks across here. Okay, and then I made this tooth and toothbrush inspired by Gentleman Bernie, Bunny, and my brother was being really stupid. He's like, oh, I gotta brush my tooth. So it's kind of funny, but yeah. Um, hello. Okay. Tooth, toothbrush inspired by Gentleman Bunny. I think I already said that, but yeah. Okay, and then I made this croissant inspired by Pink Gym Girl, and you see a lot of um, charms inspired by her because I was watching her videos a lot. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. And then I made this bagel. And it's textured and shaded, and I like how this turned out. I made this biscuit. And then I made these two mochi cookies, I believe. I'm not really sure, but I'll link the, her tutorial down below, Pink Gym Girl. So there's this one and this one, but the face on this one got smudged for some reason. I guess when I was glazing it, it wasn't completely dry. So yeah, they're really cute. And they're textured on the back. And then I made this St. Patrick's Day um, shamrock or four-leaf clover. This is inspired by Autumn Breeze 10 and they all look different little faces. So yeah, it's pretty cute. And then I made this strub, um, not strawberry, Hello Kitty Mochi, or like, I, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but it has like the filling in it's bitten. So yeah. And then also another Hello Kitty thing is this, um, dumpling. And then I made this like cluster of grapes with like vines on it. I made this rose, like these roses on a cake. And I really like these. Um, I think this turned out really well. There's just a little slice. And this was for my mom's birthday. So I made it for her. But her birthday was yesterday. So I'll give it to her today. Well, she already saw it yesterday. But I didn't bake it yesterday. <laughs> okay. And then I made this fruit tart. Inspired by Autumn Breeze Ted. And there's just little cane slices. And like orange or tangerine. Like filling. And it's like dripping down. And then I made this Rilakkuma cupcake, inspired by Pink Gym Girl. And then I made these broken hearts, and these were inspired by Pink Gym Girl as well, who is inspired by XOX Rufus. I love how this one turned out. There's like a little like scratch and little stitches, and a little band-aid. And there's also this one. And this one somehow has a smelly face. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, they're really cute. And I made these fruit um, biscuits. So I think they turned out really awesome. And these are inspired by Pink Gym Girl, who was inspired by Mucha Love. So yeah, I really like these. And they're pretty big, but I think they turned out super awesome. And then I made this little rose in a vase with a little leaf and a little face so yeah I think it's super cute and then I made this lava cake chocolate lava cake inspired by Max Dermot and I think this turned out so well I really love this and it's a miniature so there's like it's really textured on the inside and there's just like a piece taken out and like like the lava or the chocolate sauce just like spilling out it's like little gyps and a little like design and then it's glazed all around and then there's some little um 
There's whipped cream, little swirl, and a cherry. And I like how this turned out. I think it's really awesome. And I made this plate of mashed potatoes because mashed potatoes are like my favorite food. Well, potatoes in general. Um, but yeah, there's just this whole bunch of butter just melted on there. Then some green onion or chives. And it's really textured and awesome. And I saw like this marbled plate. And then I made this TV dinner plate, like Hungry Man or whatever you call those, just like microwave dinners. Um, so there's some mashed potatoes as well with the butter and chives and some peas and carrots and some beef and gravy or like pork and beans. I don't really know. But yeah, I really like how this turned out and this was inspired by Pink Gym Girl as well. So, um, don't step on those. Okay. So that was my chum update. Hopefully you liked it. And if there's anything you'd like me to make a tutorial on, just let me know because I'm looking for some tutorials to make. So thanks for watching. Bye.